Hello and welcome to a video tutorial on how to record YouTube Live. The first program we will be using for this is Screen Grabber Pro from Acethinker. In order to get this program you will need to go to acethinker.com forward slash desktop hyphen recorder and select try it free. Once you have the program it will look like this. What you will need to do is click settings and then options and under the recording tab select the video format you wish to record in. You also have the option to change the audio input settings and to change the video settings to a higher quality. Once you're there you need to select the YouTube Live video that you wish to record. Select start and then region and then hover over what you want to record. Click OK and OK again and after the countdown it will start to record. This is a really good feature as you'll be able to go back and watch the video again even when you haven't got a device connected to the internet. When recording you have the option to stop and pause at any time. Once you've finished recording click the stop button and your video will appear here. You also have the option to edit the video, to cut things out and to add annotations to it. Another program that you can use in order to record YouTube live is Ice Cream Screen Recorder. You can get this from icecreamapps.com forward slash screen hyphen recorder and just click on free download to download the program. Once you have installed it, it will look like this and once again click on capture video, select custom area and drag your cursor around which you want to record. As you can see you have the same options here and just click record and once counted down it will start to record your video. When you have finished your recording once again select stop, give it the name you wish, click OK and your video will be saved. As you can see here. Both screen recorders have their advantages, but if I had to give a preference, it would be the Screen Grabber Pro due to the amount of extra additions you have to it with the recording and the editing of it. And also, I do believe that the Screen Grabber Pro interface is a lot nicer looking and a lot easier to use than the Ice Cream Screen Recorder.